Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the texture settings work. Let's get started. For this example, I'll be using one of Photoshop's default brushes in the hard elliptical brush. The only change I'm going to make is turning the hardness down to 0%. If we go into the texture panel, you'll see a drop down list of some textures. These are actually the pattern presets that are loaded into Photoshop. If we select a pattern in paint, you'll notice some rough edges, but nothing else has changed. And that's because we need to adjust some of the settings first. The first thing that we need to take a look at is the depth. The best value here depends on the texture that you're using and how dark or light it is. If I start moving the slider down, you can see in the preview at the bottom that our brush starts to change. Once we get down to about 7% or so, you can see the texture start to appear. Now if I increase the size of my brush and paint, you can see that it uses the texture that we've loaded in. Going back up to the top here, you can check the invert checkbox if you want to invert the texture, making the blacks white and the whites black. You can also scale your texture up and down using the scale slider. You can adjust the brightness and contrast of your texture up here too. Just keep in mind that you should change the depth first to get a good baseline before adjusting either the brightness or the contrast. I'm going to reset all of my settings here. And if I uncheck texture each tip, you'll notice that when I paint, it doesn't really add texture to my brush. It's more like I'm painting a mask and there's a texture underneath. I can paint on the same area over and over and the texture doesn't change, it simply gets darker. The different modes will affect the texture in different ways. The default mode is height and that usually gives you the best effect. You can also use something like linear height or hard mix and get some pretty decent results. The rest of the modes don't get used much and height is used 99% of the time. You'll have to experiment with some of the others if height doesn't give you what you're looking for. The depth jitter slider will automatically increase and decrease the depth as you paint with your stroke. So you can see when I have it set to 100%, my texture stands out just a little bit more in certain areas of my stroke. If I turn it down to zero, you'll notice that my stroke is a lot more uniform. The texture settings can be helpful to simulate all kinds of different media like chalk and charcoal. This is a good way to give some of your work a more handmade look. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.